One of the products that we use at the OPC Training Institute is the OPC Quick Client. The OPC Quick Client is a free OPC client tool that enables you to connect to OPC servers and to view the values in them. I'll show you how it's used. It's pretty simple actually. First thing we do is we connect to an OPC server and to do that we can right click in this white area and we can hit new server connection or we can click on edit new server connection or we can hit the new server connection button right there. We'll click that. Here we see that we can browse our local machine or we can even browse a network but in my case I'm going to browse my local machine because that's where my OPC server is located. On my PC I can see that uh, we have two OPC servers. One is from Kepware and the other is from Iconix. In this case we'll connect to the Kepware OPC server and uh, we can click on it and just hit OK. And the OPC Quick Client shows us that we have a connection to the OPC server. Next we need to add a group which is what's required in OPC Data Access. To do that we can right click on the OPC server and hit New Group. Or we can click on Edit New Group. Or we can click on the New Group button right there which is what I'll do. I'll call my group the Test Group and you can see that the update rate is already set to 50 milliseconds or 20 times per second. I'll click on OK. The next thing I have to do is to add the items. So to do that again three different options. We can right click on the test group and hit new item or we can click on the edit menu option and select new item or we can use the new item button right there. Now we're going to browse our OPC server and as we browse it we see that there are several branches available to us. Here are some system variables available to us. Oh and here's a factory right there. Uh, we'll open that one up and here's the OPC Training Institute branch right there. We'll go into that and actually we'll just click on OPC TI and we see that we have several items that are available. I'll do a multiple select and I'll just select them all just like that. And the next step is to hit Add Leaves. Once I click that I can click on OK and here we see all the different items right in the OPC Quick Client. We can see that the names are already input into the OPC Quick Client. We can see our data types. We've got a long, we've got a float, we've got a string, we've got another long and even a short for smaller values. We can see that our values are changing automatically so in fact here we are looking right inside our server and uh, these are the values that are available inside our server. Some values are changing quickly, some are changing slower and we can see the timestamps. Here are the timestamps and they're changing. Some again are faster and some are slower. It really all depends on the rate at which the values change in the OPC server or in fact in the PLC. In this case we see that our quality is good which means that um, all of the values that we're getting from our OPC server are of good quality.